Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where we provide you with the top strategies and techniques for Bee Swarm Simulator on Roblox. Today, we will be discussing the methods of obtaining Wild Windy Bee and its tokens. So, without further ado, let's begin our journey. If you're looking for a cost-effective method, offering 5 to 10 field dice to the Wind Shrine is your best bet. Another option is to donate a star jelly, which also has a high chance of summoning a wild windy bee. Using 3 to 5 glitters also has a chance of summoning the windy bee. If you see the message, wild windy is in one of fields, and you receive 4 honey tokens, then your offering was successful and you have summoned a wild windy bee. Make sure to kill your mobs before attempting to disturb a wild windy bee, especially coconut crabs and mondo chicks because it tend to interfere the most. When a wild windy bee appears, players should keep an eye out for a floating cloud in the field. The wild windy bee will be hidden inside the cloud, with a white trail as a giveaway. Players must quickly locate and touch the wild windy bee before it disappears to initiate the battle. The level of the wild windy bee will vary, but will not exceed level 6. Since the tokens from Wild Windy Bee have a relatively long lifespan, the player should follow the Windy Bee to its next field first. And then collect the rewards using a token link or get hit by a bullet or hitting all targets from Precise Bee's target practice. The Wild Windy Bee has a chance to spawn naturally every two in game day night cycles. It can commonly be found in fields such as the Dandelion Field, Pineapple Patch, Pumpkin Patch, Mountaintop Field, and Coconut Field. However, during the Bees Moss event, the Wild Windy Bee can also spawn in additional fields such as the Clover Field, Spider Field, Bamboo Field, and Pepper Patch. Wild Windy Bee can also be spawned by receiving Spirit Bear's Tickle the Wind quest that summons three Wild Windy Bees at Mountaintop Field and by completing Spirit Bear's Space Oblivion quest that summons a single Wild Windy Bee. Continuously moving chimes on the Wind Shrine indicate that a Wild Windy Bee is on the map, either camouflaged or fighting in the open. Wild Windy Bee have two different attacks at its disposal. Its first attack is summoning a tornado that wipes pollen off the field and deals damage every 0.5 seconds. The amount of damage dealt depends on the proximity between the tornado and the player, as well as the number of times Wild Windy Bee has been defeated. The duration and speed of the tornadoes also increase with each defeat. Only three tornadoes can be active on the field at a time and this attack can also damage other mobs, dealing anywhere from 1 to 20 damage. Wild Windy Bee's second attack is forming a gust of wind that blows players away with great force in a rectangular area. It deals no damage, but players caught in the attack will be flung away and unable to deal damage for a short period of time. A red attack indicator will be shown for about one second to indicate where Wild Windy Bee is about to attack. The direction of the attack will depend on Wild Windy Bee's current position and the position of a randomly targeted player. The size of the attack is based on how far the edge of the field is from where Wild Windy Bee is looking. If Wild Windy Bee cannot detect any players on the field, it will attack in a random direction. This attack is cycled in after Wild Windy Bee creates three tornadoes. Upon defeat, Wild Windy Bee leaves behind a cloud in the middle of the field that regrows flowers. A ring of tokens will then appear underneath Windy Bee, similar to Stick Bug, and each player will receive their own loot ring, unless they did not deal enough damage. Afterward, Windy Bee flies off to a different field. Wild Windy Bee will continue to do this for 5 minutes before fleeing. 
Every time it is defeated, it levels up with more health, similar to Stick Bug. It also has a higher chance of dropping cloud vials and rarer items. Defeating Wild Windy Bee too many times in a day will greatly weaken drops. The value of drops depends on how much damage the player deals to it. For example, if a Wild Windy Bee has 1000 health, two players are fighting it and one deals 200 damage and the other 800, the second player would get better rewards. That's it for today's video on how to get Wild Windy Bee tokens in Bee Swarm Simulator. I hope you find it helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. But remember, always watch out for the coconut crab, they love to get in the way of a good bee hunt. Happy hunting!